Right off the bat, uh, Dre, I bring my guest, uh, mm-hmm. you know, because I knew you would love him, Andre, and because um, he's healthy. Yeah. He's a, well, let me just say he's high maintenance. And let me start out by right when he sat down. <laughs> can you uh, adjust my head? Request uh, after request. Yeah. Let me, yeah. let me uh, yeah. get my head set uh, right. Uh, hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Uh, it's Johannes Bartel. <laughs> mm, close. Bartel. Bartel. Ah! Bartel. 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 Yeah. You have to like eat the L's. Am I right? Uh, would no, that be the best I, way of I would, describing it? I would say that the hardest thing is in America that usually people want to pronounce the R. Oh. Mm. But I have an R in my name, but I don't pronounce it. I say Bartel. Oh, Bartel. Bartel. But it's not Bartel. Okay. Bartel. Yeah, Bartel. Bartel. Yeah, ba- Close, yeah. Bartel. Okay, this is a horrible pod it right now. Like- <laughs> this is like the, the, the worst version of Electric Company. But those two silhouettes start talking to each other. <laughs> and it's just like, bottle, 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 No, no, no. Bottle, 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 bottle. bottle. This is the worst pod. There's someone in their cubicle going, what the fuck are they doing? They're trying to say bottle for like five minutes. Imagine someone in the car listening to the podcast. And yeah. like, what? <laughs> Stuck in traffic. Um, uh-huh. So it's Johannes Bottle. That was good. Thank you. Yep. And from uh, Germany, Austria. Austria. <laughs> Jesus. I'm so sorry. That's okay. And that's uh, and that's not an honest mistake. That's ignorance, is what that is. Because uh, you know, our education, our educational system in mm-hmm. America doesn't really emphasize on stuff like that, right? Uh, when we learn about Germany when we're kids, it's you're evil. Yeah, I know. And also, <laughs> no, I I'm speak- not, am I joking? No, no, no. But no, I, that's what it is. We learn about the bad the war between us, you mm-hmm, know? And then mm-hmm. of course, Hollywood is also emphasized that as well. Um, but uh, we, we never, I don't, it's not even a second language to choose from. Like it's French, Spanish, and, and, and that's, that, it. that's it. But it makes more sense too. Cause like, where do you speak German besides Germany, Austria and Switzerland? But we don't know that. Yeah. They don't teach us that. And, they and, love, then, and they, then when you say, I'm sorry, Andre, but when they go, I'm German and then you go, yeah, I speak Deutsch. Yeah. See, mm. that's perfect. I just learned that. Yeah, you know, mm. and that's my ignorance because I always go, "Oh, you speak German," yeah. and I don't right. know if that's being offensive or what. No, it's not because like German, like everybody, like Switzerland, Austria, and Germany speak German. We don't. I mean, yes. if if you're very precise, people in Germany are gonna be like, "Oh no, 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 Johannes doesn't speak German. Johannes speaks Österreichisch, Austrian." Like I have a very different dialect yeah. in German. So it's not proper German. It's like uh, Austrian German. Hmm. Okay. So, all right. Now, because there's also Swiss German. It's also different. Like it's hard for me to understand. Wow. So it's, it's more of it. And I'm, it's more of a slang. There's yeah, slangy, I would say tangy dialect, words. Yeah. It's, a di- mm-hmm. it's a different dialect. Enunciations yeah. are different, but words are... Yeah, we speak the same language. It's the same words, the same structure, you but you it. pronounce them very differently. Mm. Right. It's kind of like... Which is crazy. It's kind of like if you live in California <laughs> yeah. and mm-hmm. you're a surfer dude, you get it. <laughs> then you get some dude from New York and you're like, what the fuck did he just say? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. And don't go to New Orleans. Don't Forget go to it. New Orleans. Forget it. <laughs> Don't go to New Orleans <laughs> and don't go to a a, a crocodile farm. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, exactly. I went to a petting. I think it's croc. I don't even alligator crocodile. I don't even know the difference between the two. They both eat humans, but one is bigger than the other. But I don't know if it's the alligator yeah, which which? or the crocodile. I, I think it's a gator. I think it's, it's gators it's in Louisiana, the, right? Okay. That's why yeah. they say gator in Florida. So yeah. I'll just say gator. I don't know where the crocodile's at. Yeah. But uh, I went to a, a, a gator farm where yeah. you get to pet them. Mm-hmm. Bro, Why it's would you just do that? the size of my arm. <laughs> yeah. It's a baby crow. Oh, okay. And, he, I, and you pet it. And I thought I was. You were a badass. But, like, but the guy was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't know. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, you don't know. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He goes, you didn't pay attention. Very important. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's no one but the guy. What the fuck? <laughs> you can't say important. And you just say, yeah. Then, yeah. And then follow it up with that. And then run the whole sentence yeah, together. Yeah, you can't do that. Right. Hey, there's your very important. You know, pay attention. Well, quick, you want to go. And then he held up four fingers. Yeah. And you're like. If you speak that way, you should never be in charge of important information. Not with dangerous animals. Never. No. You are just the guy that brings the shit out. You <laughs> just you're, bring it and yeah, present it to you us. You present it. You hire someone to say important shit, and then they point to you, and you bring it out with your with your fucking nine fingers. 
You're not the one that goes together. You don't give a damn. A very, very, and I, hand, hands, hand, hands, very important. Very important. Okay, very important. My ears are wide open. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Tell us because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to lose a limb uh, petting this gator for fourteen dollars. Okay, very important. Uh, you don't want to get on the other thing. But now tell them what they want. You know, what they want to tell I'm sorry. Did you run out of batteries? <laughs> did you just slow down? <laughs> I feel so bad because I want to look at you, but then I always have to turn around because yeah. yeah. I hear you. Yeah, no, he's right behind funny, you, man. bro. Is that crazy or what? Yeah. So anyway, so you have a, a let's just say a, a twang. Oh, what's a twang? Like uh, uh, you a enunciate. Slang a, it's a is it slang or a twang? Well, how would you say a, that, Dre? It's a a different dialect, but I, I yeah dialect a different yeah. dialect. But do you have different words also? Like no, no words no. are the same. Yeah. Pronunciations are different. There's Ice Cube, and then there's Kodak Black. Very. That's a. That's a. That's a good. That's a perfect. Perfect example. <laughs> They're both speaking English. <laughs> I just understand Ice Cube. <laughs> <laughs> but I listen to both of them. I know. Honest? Yeah. Right. I listen to both of them. Right. I just only understand Ice Cube. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. We have the same thing in, in, you know, German rap. Like Amanda hates it. When I'm at the gym, I only listen to German rap. Yes. Because it's close to home. You know, I yes. grew up with mm -hmm. that. And whenever I went to the gym, I listened to the classic, the OGs um, from Germany, Austria. And whenever I blast that, she's like, I have no idea what's going on. I was like, of course not. It's German. But then at the same time, back to like, you know, you only understand one. Yeah. Some are, I don't want to say... It's really hard to understand them. You still understand them, but it's it's they create their own words too. Yeah. Right, so, right. so it's, it's like, a, yeah, it's like That's like I said, it's like us. Yeah. yeah. So you speak Austrian, which is a version of German. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like if you want to be very you, I'm sorry to interrupt you because yeah. I just want to explain my yeah. ignorance. So you speak Austrian, which is a version of German, mm -hmm. but you guys call it Deutsch. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yeah. But in you wouldn't get offended. You wouldn't get offended if I go. You speak German. No, because it's true. It's that's a fact. Like everybody, like in English, you would say in Austria, people speak German. Yeah, like that's that's how it is. It's right. you would never say they speak Austrian. Yeah, just for us, like Germany, Austria, like yes. in Switzerland, we have like this different, you know, differentiation where it's like that's not German. Yeah. It's like a little, you know, tease. Yeah. Whereas whenever I do my videos in German, people are like that's not German, yeah. and I get it because. It's a version of German. It's Austrian, but yeah. it, the language is called German. Yeah, mm. you're right. Okay, got it. All right. Now, here's another question. You ready? Yeah, here we go. So, Andre, this is what I love about Johannes so much. Not only is he a great guy, obviously. Um, this <laughs> dude just became an American citizen. Legit. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> we can't talk about that? No, we can, but uh, it's not true. Uh, I got my green card. I'm not a citizen yet. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> There's a step between. Okay, do you want me to cut that? Because I will. No, no, no. You don't have to Should cut it. It's, it's funny that. Okay, we, so I can say that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because okay, so I think that's a good point because most Americans don't understand the struggle of, that's you know, a, moving. Hey, bro, you're on my show. <laughs> Slow down. You don't tell me how to be American, bro. That's what Americans do. We don't know shit, but we act like we do. We okay, know everything. Bro? All right, I like it. <laughs> I'm speaking a different version of English, bro. It's called California. <laughs> with that, with that, with your yeah, eyes, the way I hold that. <laughs> with my crocodile arms. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me say. Okay, you're right. Yeah. You just got your green card, so you're legal to stay in America for the rest of your life. Incorrect. <laughs> For the next 10 years. <laughs> For a little while. For the next 10 years. Hey, you know what, man? Maybe you should tell me. Maybe. All right. Next time I go to your house, why don't you tell me the right story? I told so you I don't the right story. Look like an asshole on my show, yo, Jonitz. Where How was about the briefing? that, yo, Jonitz? Where was the briefing? Where's the briefing, Andre? I told you we should have done a pre show. An entire. <laughs> Appreciate. How the hell are you going to tell me a different hard. story, Jojonis? It was the, it was the same story. <laughs> I it's went very to your confusing. house. Confusing. <laughs> I went to your effing house. Correct. And you told me a very emotional story yep. where we both almost cried together. Yeah. I think and we now did you're a telling bit. me a completely different story. That's, not, that's incorrect again. <laughs> 
not to correct again. <laughs> what, the emotional part? <laughs> no, that we I didn't did. get emotional. I thought we did. Oh, we did. did. We did. Did we you did. even go to his house? I, I thought I did. Was it a house or was it a set? <laughs> you fucking social media whores. <laughs> Was it your house? It was. Your, it, it was. It was our house. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we went to your beautiful house. Yeah. You told me an emotional story about how hard it was to get a green card. Exactly. Yeah. It took you how many years to Six get it? Six years. Six years. Wow. Yep. On trade. Now, when he first moved here, mm -hmm. was it for school? Correct. It was. It a, was for school. It was a student visa, F one student visa. Okay. Um. So before I left Austria, I had to apply. Um, for an F1 student visa, but I need yes. a school for that. So I had to apply at the um, school, the acting school to say, you know, I sent them my, my resume, my acting skills, like just, I recorded myself, like was very bad, but like, you know, just a camera there, no lights, nothing. I just yeah. recorded myself, but um, I had a monologue. I had like a scene that I did by myself because nobody wanted to do it. You with did me. this all yourself in your room, all, right? Yeah, in my apartment in in Vienna. Yeah, that's badass. Um, and I was how like, old were you? Let's establish that. Um, when was that? I was six in years ago. You just subtract that from the age of you now. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is that that's is, how, is very. That's true. how we 20s, do. It. That's 20s. how we do math in America. <laughs> that's how I don't know how, how you guys do it. <laughs> you guys are probably doing that European math. Yeah, like, <laughs> Alright, no, 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 Thirteen or fourteen when I left, so twenty six, twenty seven. Yes. Um, recorded everything, sent it to the school, and I I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. W what? What? Your monologue was that in English or everything? Was it German? Everything was or in Oscar. English. Everything was. in Oh, English. you did it. Yeah, everything was in. But English. you had the thickest accent. I had, then. I had a very thick accent, and I had to like work on that a lot. To, so to, this is how you were talking on your monologue right here. No, it was better. But like, I just emphasized, like it was now watching it again. I'm like, whoa. No, I know. I know. But, but let the listeners know. Just give an example of what it sounded like. Um, and I hate to do this to you, but no, no, I, no it's fine. It I think, I think it's, I think it's great. Cause when I, when I first moved to the States and I went to school, I, I probably sounded like this. Yes. And I was like, so my name is Johannes. I came from uh, Austria and I, want to become an actor that's awesome right and so then, that's the video he sent in yeah wow. it was it was it was bad i mean they probably saw something because like bad. Other, it was just you had for me act, personally yes, yeah, yeah i had right. a thick accent and they probably saw my emotional like you know i don't know like the acting i think must have been somehow good because mm -hmm. otherwise they wouldn't have accept, accepted me so i got that i was super emotional it was i was so like i was blown away i was like whoa like america just accepted me to school like wow, that was it's, it's huge. really that hard to get a, a visa yeah it's, it's not easy like um of course there are like easier ways you can you know different ways to do that but i wanted to do it that way yeah. and i chose that route and i was like i want to do that so i got that and then the first big thing was to break it to my mom and say hey mom I'm leaving. Oh, wow. She knew about my dream to move to the States, but she didn't know that I actively did something. For right. So when you were a kid, you were in love with movies and stuff like that. You always yeah. watch. What was yeah. your favorite movies growing up? Just um, a, one or two. Terminator. Like, duh. Yeah. Classic. Duh. Like, Plus, he's, rem the, he's the Austrian I love him. King. Like, I've never right. met him, but he is just, he was, I, here's the story. So. When I was, and that's, again, I don't want to mess up numbers. And, then, you know, in one podcast, you said you were 12. And then the other one, you said You're you were 13. You're allowed to do that. I said my mom was 4'6 in my first uh, stand-up special. Yeah. And then when I got my, I, I got an award in, yeah. uh, in Montreal. And they did this, uh, like, a montage video of all my stand-up. And then you said and, and, two different and, things. Yeah, and I got comedian <laughs> of the year. This is in front of Dave Chappelle, Tiffany Haddish, Lil Rel, you know, all these names. Dion yeah. Cole. They're, everyone's there. Kevin Hart's there. Mm. Everyone's there. In this room, Howie Mandel, 
And then I'm getting comedian in the air, and they start playing this montage of all my stand up. Yeah. And then one, I go, Yeah, man, my mom's four six, and then she's the toughest one. And then, boom, and then the uh, uh, yeah. other jokes. And then all of a sudden, my mom's four eight. And I'm like, <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> Why would Who you put that in there? This? <laughs> so that was the first thing I had to talk about in the speech was like, yeah. obviously, I don't know how tall my mom is. Right, yeah. Right. But yeah, but anyway, so you're fine, man. Like, Say what? Who cares? Who gives a fuck about numbers? You're 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 rehashing stories. Yeah. So just speak on so it. So I was I don't know between, let's just say between eleven and thirteen. Yeah. Um, and I was in my living room, sitting on the ground, watching TV on this old ass TV, and my dad was like right next to me, and we saw Terminator, and I was like, and I was in love with action movies, and yeah. I saw him, and he like you know he's impressive physique, and I was like, whoa. Um, and my dad was like, you know, he's from Austria. And I'm like, I didn't know that. Uh, and for me, it's TV, right? And I was like, where is he now? <laughs> yeah. um, he's in America. I was like, whoa, I want to go to America. Like right. I said it as a, as a kid. Like, and my dad looked at me and he's like, you really want that? And I was, mind you, I had no fucking clue what that meant. Like, you know, being mm -hmm. or moving to America. I yeah. was like between 11 and 13. I just said, like, I want to do that. Um, and I was like, if you really want it, if you feel it, you have to do it. You have to go after that. And I was like, all right. And I, that's still in my, in my head. Um, so after that day watching Terminator and seeing on Schwarzenegger, I was like, this is amazing. I want to do the same thing. I want to be in action movies. I want to, you know, work out. I want to look like that. I want to, you know, have those guns and run around in movies and like do those action scenes. Um, and then. When I turned 14, or not 14, almost 15, my father passed away. And that obviously slowed down everything for yeah. me personally and my mom. Because like I was like, okay, I cannot. I mean, first of all, I was 15. Yeah. Um, I couldn't just move to the States. I didn't have the money. I didn't have anything. I was just like, but I was constantly in my head working on that. My dream was there. And I was like, I have to nourish that. I didn't need to like water that dream every single day. Yeah. I can't just stop. But I did. I had to. Like yeah. life forced me to do that. So um it took me a little bit. And then I think I just started working so hard on my physique. I, I became a personal trainer. Um, all I did was just personal training. I trained myself and I was just saving money. Okay, so what, what was Arnold part of the reason why you became a personal trainer? I think so, yeah. And I that kind of was like your motivation. If I get buff like him, yeah, it'll probably I think, help me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's so so I was just because that guy literally got buff. To move to America. No, he was. He Wasn't was that his amazing. story? His like sto his, yeah, yeah I, he went to a, a bodybuilding uh, competition in Germany while he was in the military. Sir, like military. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I remember him saying, I want to be the most famous man or something like that. Yeah, yeah. He right? said that like, too. Yeah. He, yeah. Getting, he knew that he had to be a world champion in order to be. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, that's crazy, that's man. Good. That's cool. cool. That's cool. Yeah. So keep going. So, um, so I became a personal trainer. Um, just did, you know, personal training, started investing in real estate because I knew I need to make money like passive. In I need passive income to move to the States because I know as soon as I have my student visa, I'm not allowed to make money here. And wait, what? You're not allowed to work here. It's a student visa. It's not a work permit. Right. So you well, need how the how do they expect anyone to survive? I mean, you have Your to school. you have to work for it. I mean, they're. What do you mean by what do you mean? Well, schooled, I'm saying right? you have. Do you have? Don't. Well, I don't know. But do you have like? Is there any financial uh, support while you're at school? Schools do offer that, mm. but there is it credit. I mean, so you you come here to go in debt? No, you can you can apply for that support system. I I'm not sure. Like I didn't qualify for it because I worked before that, so mm -hmm. I had rental income, and my income was too high to get the support from the school. What? Because I I'm, was. I'm so. So lost. you have to you have to be broke and poor to get the support. He he set himself up so he didn't need it. Yeah. Okay, got that. Yeah. Then, but if you are broke, mm -hmm. they give you credit. No, they actually no, reduce the cost. Money. They reduce grants. the cost oh, of, the, yeah, of the school. Mm -hmm. oh, that's asking a lot, bro. Yeah. You got people in this country trying to get that. Yeah. Yeah. And now you are trying to get well, no, you got money. Yeah. But there but you're also competing with other people that are trying to get grants to mm -hmm. move here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. I that's 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 deep. I had no idea. Yeah. I didn't know it was like that. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Right? I yeah. thought you just get a visa and you could do whatever you want. Work mm -hmm. here, blah, blah, blah. Do mm -hmm. it. You're here. Mm -hmm. But you gotta leave. Exactly. You're here for four years. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like you have a student visa, F1 student visa allows you to study and spend money here, but you're not allowed to make money here. 
and you'll they'll audit you. Yeah, I they'll mean, catch you. I if mean, you, if, if you, you make money, they will come after. I'm you. pretty sure. Yeah, because like it's you know unless you can't take U.S. currency back, you got to leave it here in this country. Is that basically yeah, basically, right? basically, okay. basically what it is? Yeah, because you don't man. pay taxes yeah. here. If you don't have a work permit, you can't pay taxes, so you're not allowed to make money. I mean, yeah. it, it makes sense. Yeah, um, but it's it's just hard for students to like support themselves because like I saw like. I had so many friends in class with me. They're like, no, I can't go um, and have like whatever subway or whatever. Like I can't afford that. I need mm -hmm. to pay for rent and school and the books and this yeah. and the props and whatever it is. Uh -huh. And that just like, I was like, whoa, okay. All right. Here's my other question. Sorry mm -hmm. to interrupt your story. All good. You obviously our education, like, you know, your colleges are probably better or not the same level uh, same diff, level diff, different i think mm -hmm. i mean uh i it's hard for me to to you know comment on that because i've never been here in the well like, let's just say any... all of german engineering yeah. is the greatest <laughs> engineering i don't think they went to uh ucla <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> so let's just put that out there yeah uh, you don't have to know but you know yeah, yeah. um but uh but you weren't coming for education. You were using that as an excuse. What do you mean? I because I think you're, education. and I think you're, I don't, was I came it? Here or for was acting, it what, yeah. I know, but I don't think it was really the education. I think you wanted to become an American actor. It was that, a means that, to that an was, end. That was your, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Well, what that, did you say? Sorry, didn't a you means to an end. It was, you were, you were using that to get a springboard you into. It wasn't the education. You, came here for an you were acting. really here to be an American actor. Yes. 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 And yes, that was I your become, door. Exactly. You knew that was the way to get it. Exactly. Because that, that's a good point. Because I, I said, I don't want to become an actor in Austria, Germany. Yeah. Like, it sounds weird. And and maybe arrogant. I don't mean it in an arrogant way, but it was too small for me. No, it's I not. wanted I wanted something bigger that I can envision and dream and like work yeah. towards. Because in Austria, Austria is beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but the acting and like that it, that realm is just smaller than the states. Yeah. Like yeah. I've never seen a massive movie, f you know, come from Austria like uh with massive actors in there in an action yeah. movie. Yeah. All Actually, of that happens. Can I interrupt you? Yeah. No one has. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It all happens <laughs> in Hollywood. So I was like that's I'm, what I'm I want to do. Too. No, but I that's what it. <laughs> No, it's yeah. true though. Like I I Cinderella. <laughs> The two story Black, of the Black What are you speaking? What was I don't know that? What the, I don't know what that was. Black Bastille. <laughs> I don't know. That's that French. I don't know. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, you're going to hate it. You're going to hate it. You no, can punch I us. No, no, I love yeah, it. We're, so we're going to get letters, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but keep on going. Uh, so, yeah, you, you wanted to. Yeah. Duh. If you want to. Hey, man, I've said this since day one, bro. We have the best industry when it comes to movie hollywood is the best i'm sorry you know every time someone goes have you ever seen the the the, the french version of that tv show <laughs> no no one has mm. i'm sorry have you seen the 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 english version you have you seen the, no have you seen the british version no i'm sorry yeah. uh i yes i am proud to say hollywood crushes the game bro we I mean, crush it i mean there are some movies that are really good like there's a french movie uh, what is it called? It's okay. We didn't ever seen it. Yeah. But yeah. look, <laughs> what I'm saying is we crank movies out every day. That's true. You guys and have Mercedes Benz? Yeah. We bro, have media. You guys have Porsche. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm an you know I love Porsche. Mm -hmm. So um, have you ever seen mine that I sold? No. Bef right before COVID hit. What did you have? I had a nine eleven convertible. Why didn't you sell it to me? I didn't know that you You want to know my one. dream car? What? I have two, yeah. but they're both by Porsche. It's my birthday, mm -hmm. my birth year, mm -hmm. which is 1971. Either the uh, uh, the uh, well, 911, of mm -hmm. course, the, yeah. the Carrera, or the, uh, oh, come on, Joe. It's called the, uh, their staple car. What is it called? Oh, now I look like an idiot, man. Why do I have a, a brain fart right now? He's already on the computer. He'll look it up for you. No, the, you it's go. you know it's the old. Uh, what do they call it? The Volkswagen uh... GTI. No, it's it's the basic. <laughs> oh, man, you guys go ahead. It's and a talk. well. It's I have a, I have I have a question. Why you're thinking of that? Yeah, oh, I'm so mad at myself right now because had, it, it really is my dream car. It's a, I had it's a full a... blown debate with my wife about uh, 
Porsche. Yeah. And yeah. the pronunciation of Porsche. What's the proper pronunci- pronunciation? Is Porsche. it Porsche or Porsche? Porsche. 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 Yeah. Porsche. Okay. Okay. I said, I said it was Porsche. But yeah, it's she, Porsche. She corrected me because mm-hmm. she dealt with them directly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I looked up. I, you want to know what I looked up? This is so funny. I'll, I'll tell you later. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on. I, I got I to find this real quick. Folks. Wagon. Oh, keep talking. Keep is talking. A, is it a sports car or what is it? No, it's it's a, a, the the convertible old school Volks, Volkswagen. Volkswagen. The Carmen Ghia. Carmen Ghia. Uh, I thought you were talking about a Porsche. That's why I didn't. Yeah, I was I, I was confused yeah. too. Yeah, I was like, I thought it was Porsche that you were looking for. Uh, no, it's it's the Carmen Ghia. Well, well, Carmen Ghia was like kind of like the you know the convertible. Yeah, it was yeah. kind of like it, it looked like a a, a Porsche, mm-hmm. but it was a Volkswagen. There it is. That right yeah. there. That is my dream car, bro. Right, th- that's the Carmen nice. That's a Porsche. That's a Porsche. <laughs> the one on the bottom. <laughs> Porsche. A Porsche too. <laughs> Can you look up Carmen Shut up. <laughs> but yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I want my birth year either in a Carmen or a 911. See, then you wouldn't, you wouldn't like mine was a, a 2017. Could somebody spell Carmen Oh, that's beautiful though. It was a beautiful car. Don't get me yeah. wrong. G-H-I-A. Not for me. <laughs> oh look at that we can't get how to cool it. is that car right there looks nice yeah it's dope. this is what i love about german engineering well let's just talk about porsche uh i love mercedes mm-hmm. and then i hate mercedes right huh. uh because every single one i got uh was in the shop oh, yeah. mm. and i always bought them right off the lot brand new right yeah. um um uh, and i'm sorry mercedes this is you know Unfortunately, that's what happened. I bought the I bought the G wagon. Sounded like there was a mouse running on a on a wheel. <laughs> Brand new, off the lot, squeak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that car, Dre? My do. white one. Yeah. And I kept bringing it in, going, "Yo, it still squeaks." And they're like, "They all squeak. It's an all terrain vehicle. <laughs> it's like the real deal." I'm like, "Bitch, we in at war? <laughs> this is a two hundred thousand dollar." truck they all squeak luxury imagine yeah. that being no in your, she be, really no, said that i know but imagine that being your justification they all squeak yeah she said they all squeak <laughs> there's no way around it this is a heavy duty car this is made for like this is the best suv i'm like no they so are, you sorry, can't put the word right? yeah you can't put the letter you can't say you can't put the tag luxury yeah and then and then use that as an excuse it's got to be one or the other do you want to know how or we yeah, how we use that car. Yeah, to go fight <laughs> wars. <laughs> That's why when I came to LA, I've and everybody seen what G wagons could do. They're they're phenomenal. They're but beasts. What I, like but, we drive them in the Alps. Like, I know they're in the, amazing. In the woods, like it, that's it, where we. Use you, them. I know. I know. And then people yeah. in LA, are like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then you, you see, see my it, watch, and then, yeah. <laughs> and then you see so. Yeah, that's so true. It, we we're idiots. You know that, right? No, it's yeah, a beautiful it should, car. It, should, yeah, it is beautiful. It's a. It's a. I mean, it's timeless. It's been out. I mean, they re they re they they put that on. They relaunched it. What? 14 years ago? Have you seen the new one? No, but what I'm saying is they relaunched an old car 14 yeah. years ago and didn't even change the design of it. Yeah. And it's still active. Like, it's the longest running uh, car design. Yeah. Mm. Every Mercedes changes their design, I think, every six, seven years uh-huh. for each. The G Wagon is literally the same looking car from the day they put it out on the on the street. The first yeah. time. Yeah. They won't change it because it is a timeless piece of jewelry. What I'm saying is. <laughs> Don't tag it by saying luxury. <laughs> you need to say, hey, man, like sell it like this. Mercedes rugged car. <laughs> and, it, it's and, gonna, it, and then have some dude from like Texas go, yeah, it squeaks and, shit. And it squeaks a little. But I got a whole deer head in the back. But it's branding. It's so smart. No, it is. It's a beautiful in car. In Russia, when we drove, uh, when we flew to, <laughs> drove, when we flew to Russia, they yeah. picked us up in in a g-wagon and they had like three g-wagons lined up and it looked so badass i felt like i am in a movie right now yeah yeah and it's just yeah they're way 
like even Mercedes has like the S class. It's super comfortable, right? To be as a, as a passenger. Yeah. Mm. I'd rather sit in a S class than a, a G Wagon. But yeah. it just looks awesome when you get picked up in a G Wagon. Oh like, yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> you I just feel it. immediately you feel like, oh yeah. Yeah. I bought an S class. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I like that. <laughs> I bought an S class uh right off the lot, right? Mm -hmm. And I wanted all black, right? Mm -hmm. I was gonna mat it out. But this is when everyone was buying S's, right? Mm -hmm. And um and I wanted it that, you know how you buy something, you want it today. And they were like, oh, we can get you one, but it, 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 we got to bring it in from Arizona. So it's probably going to take about four days. I go, dude, yeah. I ain't leaving here unless I get an S class. Right. Like, like I want to walk out. Well, all we have is this silver one. Right. And like, so I bought, well, I got in it. I sat in it. Right. And, uh, and you fall in love with it. If you sit in it, you fall in love with it right. because it's, it's the ultimate luxury. Right. So I drove it off the lot, bought it. Right. The minute I wake up the next morning, I'm like, what the fuck did I buy? Did I just buy 20 extra years in my life? Did I just become 70 years old and retired? <laughs> did I just become a great grandfather? This is the oldest man's car. What do I, what the fuck did I just buy? I was so mad. There was nothing you could do with a, 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 a silver S class. The color, yeah. But the, the S you class pull is up, beautiful. You, the S class is beautiful. You gotta be black, But you though. pull up in a silver S class, it's like, hey, someone's grandfather's here. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I I had to retire. I literally had that for like seven months, eight just months. Wrap it up and, and black turn and that in. Yeah, turn it in. Yeah, and I turned my G wagon in for that. Oh, <laughs> I, I hated that G wagon, bro. I hated it. I hated it so much that I I was looking for a car uh th this year, mm -hmm. and I was gonna buy another G wagon because the new ones are sick. Right, people beautiful, are rolling on beautiful. it. Right, uh, and I was this close to buying a matte black one. This mm -hmm. close. And I literally, I, I, it was on the phone because I go, because I found it, right? Because yeah. it was matte black. It was uh, the, not one that was wrapped. This was from the factory, mm -hmm. matte black. And the first question I said is, I go, does it still squeak? I swear to God, and like, to someone I don't even know. It does. Yep. <laughs> they go, it still kind of squeaks. I go, have a nice day. They don't even lie have about it. A nice. They can't. <laughs> they can't. The car is so rugged. That that if you it just squeaks it's it's over by the passenger seat. Yeah, there's something in the frame that it just it 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 won't. They can't. Well, if you want the German engineering, then you get the squeak with it. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, Porsche. What is that guy's name? Full name? Porsche. Yeah. What's his full name? Do you know? No, I don't know. Uh, let's just say his uh. Whoever designed it, it, I forget his name. Something Porsche. It's Ferdinand. Fer, what's his name? Ferdinand. Yeah, Ferdinand, Ferdinand Porsche. Ferdinand Porsche. This guy is a genius. He's a. He is. Uh. He is one of those guys. Like I said, he's Michael Jordan. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To excel, you need something like this dropped. Like God goes here. You go. He's an alien. Yeah. He's basically an alien in human clothing, and 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 then they they're, they saw cars. And then, uh, and they were like, it, it was kind of going, it was going good, but there was something that wasn't moving it forward. And then, uh, and then God was like, here you go. Here's Ferdinand Porsche. <laughs> this guy, this guy's going to do something that's going to, it's going to blow your fucking heads for a little while. And I'm telling you, this man has mastered, uh, the, the art of building cars. Mm. There's, there's nothing like it, bro. They, he has literally made the best car. I, and I put him I'm I'm talking against Ferrari, I'm talking against Lamborghini. I'm talking anything. What, what bro. part? What part of it of that bro, car works for you? Let me tell you what oh. works about Porsche. Okay, <laughs> it is it is it really is <laughs> it is literally sexy, powerful. Mm. You look at it and go, God, that's a beast. And in the same breath, you go, That is the sexiest shit I've ever seen. Mm. It and then you sit in it and you're like. Wow, you feel like you literally feel like a legit race car driver. Like you just stepped into the <laughs> the fastest and baddest car you've ever sat in. I'm telling you, and, and then when you drive it, you're like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. 
like the handling, the the steering wheel, it mm-hmm. just it's it, it all feels like it's together. Yeah, mm-hmm. like here's the steering wheel and it's stuck to the fucking wheel. And you, you ever get actually, into another yeah. car and it's it's, it's got it's a little a, play, a little, little loose, it's got yeah. a little loosey, yeah. a little loosey goosey. You got to give it a half a turn and then you can start turning, <laughs> bro. The Porsche, you touch it just a little, it's turning. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, they they got it down pack and there's something beautiful about that car. They don't release them that much, mm-hmm. you know. When they're out, they're out. Yeah, that's what I love about them too. They yeah. don't they don't saturate the market. They don't flood it. You know, they ain't about uh well, you know, they're not that's what I didn't like about Mercedes. Uh one thing I didn't like about Mercedes when they decided to compete with yeah. Honda. Yeah. When I they were like, "Oh, that? if you're if you're going to decide to get a Oh no, that was like in the 90s, bro. That's when they went from luxury to like we want the you know, kind of like the whole uh They started doing the compact car. Yeah, they, like well, that. not only that, they were like, "Let's bring the price range down." Yeah. Just mm-hmm. in case, you know, you you're thinking about a Honda Five extra thousand, get a Mercedes. And that that whole line came out, the C-Class and all that. And it kind of brought down the value. And then it's like, oh, you go all the way to S and then you become luxurious again. It's like, no, bro, you're either luxury or forget it, right? Yeah. So, but Porsche don't do that shit. Porsche is like, here's a Porsche. Right. This is how much it is. Yeah. And we got about nine of them here. I mean, you can get (laughs) cheaper Porsche. It's so hard. Porsche. Yeah. Um, Because, like, what was that one? The, I mean, it's not a sports car. The, the. Wow, not the Cayenne, the the medium one. What is Macan? That? Mm-hmm. Macan, that yeah. one. Yeah, that one's super nice. Yeah, Beautiful. I know. I bought I, my son one. I test drove it. It was like the GT GTS. I bought my son the fully loaded <sighs> Macan. Oh, beautiful, drives insane. Yeah, but it's like, don't get me wrong, it's still a lot of money. But in comparison to like a nine eleven, it's cheap. It was like what seventy thousand, sixty five thousand. Yeah, yeah seventy five thousand. Yeah, something like that. Fully loaded. Yeah. Gone, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, you he told, had that about seven months. Yeah, you told me that story. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't sure if we're gonna Thanks bring for it up. Bringing or that not. up. <laughs> uh, Got um, really tense in here for a minute. Yeah, I did. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, well, let's finish your story, bro. I'm sorry yeah. to like side sidetrack. Yeah, I didn't know uh, if that's your but, your but vibe and like. No, no, no. I want to stand on you because uh, you're you're a very inspirational, dude, man. I appreciate uh, that. And, and you do it. You do it through uh, your actions. Right. Mm-hmm. That's what I love. I love people that inspire indirectly. You know, I didn't know your story. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? You come here, you know, if you script it out, it's beautiful. You know, yeah. it's it's actually a movie. You know, here I am. Always here's- tells me that. She's like, one she was like, promise me one day you'll make your story a movie. And yeah, it's like, a great movie. <laughs> Look like, at listen, let, let me let me know. let me briefly outline your movie, right? Okay. A kid barely speaks English, inspired by Austrian actor that moves to Hollywood, becomes famous. You become buff like him. <laughs> you do whatever it takes to get here, yeah. right? You go the right way. Mm-hmm. You do it the right way, right? Mm-hmm. Fall in love with a, a beautiful woman, an American woman, yeah. right? Uh, actually, she's a uh, an American uh, heart. Uh, is it a heartthrob? Is a woman a heartthrob? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if you... Is a woman a heartthrob? Could a woman be a sweetheart? A sweetheart. Sweetheart, sweetheart? Yeah. So she's an American sweetheart, actually international too. Yeah. And 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 then now you're you're in a a position where you're like, not not only did I come here to try and pursue acting, but now I'm in love. Mm-hmm. And I and I and I and my time's running out. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. My time's running out, and I'm in love. And and but I don't want to marry her to uh, become an American because I love her. I do love her, and I can do that. That's mm-hmm. my out. Right. That's my get out of jail free card. If yeah. you had that option yeah. in your pocket, because you guys were heavy in love, like you moved in with her. By the way, yeah. his 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 lady is Amanda Cerny, mm-hmm. and and she's beautiful, in love. Could have married her, and it was done. Yeah, but you did it. Mm-hmm. You did it because you said to her, what did you say? If I'm going to become an American, I want to do this shit on my own. Yeah, exactly. How cool is that? That's dope. And he went yeah. at it, bro. Yeah. So tell me, tell me where, like. Where, where did we stop? Can somebody help me out? I don't just know. Just start where. from right there, bro. Start from right there. From. So the acting, minute, I think no, no, no. we talked about what? the acting school, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, acting yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay, okay. so acting school. Um, I graduated acting school. I think it was. 2015 I'll, I'll speed that one up so graduated um and then i had to apply while being in school i had to apply for extension and opt it's an optional practical. are you down with opt <laughs> that was nice opt what does that mean <laughs> i only know optional practical training are you down with opt 
Are you down with OPT? Yeah, yeah you know me. me. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> I don't get that. We know. <laughs> we know you don't. <laughs> because we're ignorant Americans, man. We don't give a fuck what you applied for. You say OPT, we say you, you know, know me. me. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm wait here dead. and just smile. I swear to God, Andre, when I was sitting on the yeah. line, go, please, Andre, uh, stay with me. <laughs> Don't leave me hanging. And you did. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, I'm so oh. happy right now. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys are it's, happy. It's naughty by nature. You down with OPP? Still nothing? No. God damn it. Okay, I thought I thought the world knew that song. I mean, Anyways. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know that, and I'm like now the dumb one, like not knowing that. But yeah, but yeah. you will, because we're going to put it in post. Perfect. Um, <laughs> perfect. So, all right, so you had to apply for OPT, which OPT. is an extension. Basically. No, it's not an extension. Oh, it's it's not. Uh, something completely different. So okay. uh, you start with your F1 student visa. Then you're still in school. You still have your F1. You apply for an OPT, optional practical training, which allows you to work in that Whatever you studied, you're allowed to work for one year in the States. So yeah. for me, it was acting. So I'm allowed to work as an actor for one year in the States. I started doing that. I mean, I didn't work, but I went on auditions every single day. Yeah. I had like five to seven auditions every week. Like I was at, at it like every single day. I was like, okay, more, 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 more. Every single day I got, mm, no, mm, no, mm, ah, you have an accent. No. Wait, this. what? Really? Yeah. Mm. Um, and Wait, was, you were really doing this every single day? or ugh. Every day. No, I, I'm wow, not kidding. Man. Like, I, I was, I knew I had one year. And if you know you have one year, you are scared. Because yeah. like a yeah. year is over like that. I yeah. mean, look at yeah. 2020. It's almost over. Yeah. yeah. What do you, you know, it's, it's, it's fast. So I knew I have to make something happen for myself right now. Mm -hmm. So I went on auditions and like small roles, like really small roles. And then the first thing that I got is funny because I don't even smoke. Um, I got a, a, a commercial and that paid $2,000. That was my very first work in the States. And I was cool. so proud of it. The entire two day, one day or two days, I don't know, one or two days, I was just there and I did like this background stuff, like playing and like with this girl, like, you know, dancing and the whatever. Mm -hmm. And then the, the tobacco, like chew, I don't know gum or whatever it was um showed up and i was like cool and that was it like i was like that's the only job i get and the next the second job was uh james franco's movie um the disaster artist i was a background and they actually used the background scene where i'm in there twice and mm. i was like oh cool that paid nothing 100 and whatever 80 dollars the yeah. entire day mm -hmm. so i was like i can't do that like that's I'm not going to make a name for myself with being a background actor. Mm -hmm. um, and luckily, I moved into the right place. And then I met Amanda. Like in all well, the How did you meet her? I saw her at the gym. Like I, I, I saw her at the Stairmaster. And I was like... I'm going to start working out today. <laughs> yeah. And I saw her. I was like, wow, she's beautiful. And, I, and her boyfriend at that time probably felt my look or me looking or staring at his girlfriend. And then I saw him like... Oh, he looked at you? Yeah, he looked at me. Like, obviously, like, he probably saw me walking in like, Doof. Yeah. Wow. Were you, were you, <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I just, I was about to give you my number. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, were you already in the social media game? No, at this not at all. I oh. had social media, but I had like 2,000 followers. I just posted my fitness routines and my vegan on stuff. Vine. On Instagram. On Instagram. Okay. On Instagram. Um, so, yeah, I saw her. Uh -huh. And then um, that's how, you know, I, I, I didn't meet her there. Like, I, I got introduced to her through Logan, George, Mark, like everybody. Yeah. Because I started working out with Logan at the gym because he was there every day. I was there every day. And we were the only ones grinding every fucking day. Like, at really? 11.30 p.m., like, we were done. And we just, like, you know, lifting like you crazy. You just keep going. And I was like... Yo, we should work out together because you're alone. I'm alone here, but we are always here. Right. So let's work out together and push each other. And he's like, let's do that. And that's how we became friends. And then really? I, and then I got into like the entire like group of friends. And that that's how I met Amanda. 
Uh, yeah. mm, you um, slimy sneaky fucker. <laughs> no, I knew it. It was so. It was see how you did it. It was so yeah. a fuck about working out with Logan. <laughs> you just knew that was the end, bro. No. Yeah, bro. <laughs> like, you weren't invited to that party, but you brought ribs. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't let anyone into a party with ribs? Right. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you slimy son of a bitch. Oh, that's some slick that's good. Shit, buddy. That's that German that's shit, a, that's bro. German that's shit. That's German <laughs> right there, bro. A little bit of an accent in there. Everything was good. <laughs> I want to get to the meat of the story. That's a beautiful yeah. story. So, anyways, you fall in love with a man and boom, that's out of the question. Now, yeah. your main goal is I don't want to marry her. Let's just fast forward. Yeah, yeah, fast You're forward. You're in so. love. You're in love with Amanda. And now you have the ultimate decision because now you have a few months left. Yeah. No. So here it is. I'll, I'll skip the part. So OPT, yeah. I got my OPT after that. Are you one down with OPT? <laughs> Just say, yeah, you Appar know Apparently yeah, you so. Know apparently so. <laughs> According to this story. Yeah, you were. You were. You were, bro. You were. She wasn't with you, man. She wasn't yours. She wasn't with you, bro. <laughs> Look at him. He's so excited. That was good, Andre. <laughs> Apparently so, bro. <laughs> you were. <laughs> um, no, so uh, so you had to get the OPT. Go for it. I got that. And then um, I didn't have enough evidence to prove that I'm talented enough to stay in the States. What the fuck what does, that, does mean? that mean? That's 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 what I'm trying to say. So OPT, you have to like you know, work. You have to show how talented you are. If you book a movie, that's proof of oh, you being talented. And that's why you were saying I was doing background work and stuff. And exactly. That's not would, to... And that's not, so it's it not going to help you. So it just means you didn't work enough. It doesn't mean, no, 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 there's no, no, no gauge. Is it? No, no. What he's saying is, what he's saying is I can't apply for OPT. No, if I I'm can just apply doing... for an O one. one That's so I already had my OPT. Uh -huh. The next step would be an O one. one It's oh, a talent oh. visa God, to stay levels. in the States for three years. Okay. And for the talent visa, it's an extraordinary talent visa. And oh, that's for engineers, you. like artists, gotcha. like you have to be someone special to stay here. Got Otherwise it. you have to leave. Got it. Um, wow. And for me, that meant I need press articles about myself. I need to create something for myself that people know me for that I did. What? So, so what did you do to do that? Social media. Wow. Like I, I started, um, you know, being in so many different videos and I'm so thankful for all of my friends, especially Amanda. Uh, helping me get into that world of, yeah. of Instagram, right? Because like yeah. at that time, I was so focused on acting only. I have to do this. But then I realized nobody gives a fuck about me. I have to work for myself. Yeah, you got to show and then, people. And then I started creating my own videos. And like, I remember I was in probably 20 videos of like other people's like, you know, work. Yeah. And then I created my first video and it got 500,000 views. And I looked at it and I was like, oh. 500,000 people saw my video yeah, that I yeah. created, I shot, I acted in, I directed it, like I did everything. Yeah. It's it's a minute video. Yeah. And 500,000 people saw that video. After that, I just like, I mean, I just did so many videos with everybody. We collabed, we just worked all together. We helped each other and that's how everybody grew so fast. And I grew like a million within like seven, eight months um, on Instagram. And then all of a sudden, I got op uh, like opportunities to work with brands, work with um, you know agencies, and I was like, okay, this is good. I was like, please, I cannot work with you right now because I don't have the the permit. I don't have a work permit. Um, but please, can I get a recommendation letter from you and t tell me or tell whatever the immigration that you would love to work with me because I'm so talented. Yeah. Oh, I want to interrupt you because you 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 forgot to tell Andre. Yeah. Uh, this part that he also while he was doing this, mm -hmm. he was also teaching himself how to get away from his accent. Oh yeah, I took wow. accent reduction so classes. Accent accent reduction, reduction classes, classes three times a week. Three Crazy. times a week. He's yeah. doing all of this, yeah. bro. Yeah. yeah. So uh, he's also trying to not sound German. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. While doing all of While that. While doing yeah. all of that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so, yeah. So then I, I got to that point where people saw me and they were like, yo, he's interesting. Like he is, he, you know, he gets the views. He gets the engagement. He, he's talented. Look at him. Mm -hmm. um, so I had all those brands like help me write recommendation letters. Then I applied for the O1, which is the talent, the extraordinary talent visa. I got that. You got that. I got that. That was for three years. And that... Um, so now just you have three years that to was get your... That was 2017. And this year, 2020, um, in August, it expired. Mm. 
So I applied in 2019 for my green card. Um, that's the point where, where you, you want to go to is um, I was in a position where I was like, okay, I have six months left and six months is nothing. Yeah, it's, right. it's, it's over like that. Um, and I was like, okay, I were have, you being lazy? Absolutely not. You can ask. So when you had three years, I started the day I got my O one. I started working on my green card. So the minute you knew you had the three year extension, you started that day. That day, working knowing on my that green card. I need my green card in here. three years. Yeah, and you and now you find yourself six months left to go and still no acceptance. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah. Because like I know what it takes yeah. to get the green card right yeah, i know so but I'm what like, i'm saying is yeah, now yeah. you find yourself two and a half years later exactly and it's still no response no i haven't applied yet that's the thing i you can't so i got my old one right no no i understand you yeah. you got and then the i three started working yeah yeah and then and I, now you start oh you're building I, it i started working wow building you the press build. articles press you know get the press get this make more content create more of this you know work with bigger brands get more recommendation letters show that i can do certain things act that in you're this. contributing to america exactly i can you know prove that i that I hire people here. So it's it's contributing to, to uh, Los Angeles because yeah. I'm hiring people, like yeah. Americans. Yeah, yeah. So that's all good for me because then they say, well, keep him here. You know, I yeah. pay taxes here. So they're like, yeah, well, let's keep him let's here. Keep him here. Right. Yeah. Um, and then at that point, mind you, the 01 was 250 pages of just people telling immigration how yeah. great I am. Yeah. The green card... In total, I think I'm between 500 and 650 pages of just, yeah, recommendation letters, press, yeah. everything, um, contracts, just statistics, everything that proves that I'm talented enough to stay here, that I'm actually doing something for America yeah. and not taken. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And then, uh, so now you built up this huge. Huge, yeah huge uh send it in portfolio yeah. send portfolio it, yeah. thank you yeah send it in in Nov send it in december to 2019 okay. um paid for the extra fee like the 1500 dollars um to get a response within two weeks because yeah. otherwise you have to wait half a year and i was like i'm gonna pay that so i get a yes or no i mean i knew that's now i say yes or no but in my head i was like i'm gonna pay that so i get my yes earlier yeah i i, I believe in just, you know, envisioning what you want. Yeah. So I knew I always had the yes. When people are like, but what if? I was like, no, no, no stop right there. It's not even a thought. It doesn't yeah. exist. It, it's not there. It's just, yes, it's, this is it. Yeah. Nothing else happens. Yeah. Um, And yeah, so I got a, a letter from my lawyer that said they need more evidence. What? Oh, man. And I was like, I was dying. I, I, I died inside my, I was like, what? I was on a plane. Um. And, yeah, that's crushing. And I was like, man. "What is? What do they want?" Yeah. And then he sent me a list of like twelve pages of what they want. Jeez. Most of it was, and that's funny. Most of it was, uh, they didn't like the layout in which I presented the evidence. So I was like, "What?" I gave them everything, like yeah. the the link to where it is, where they can find it. I caught, like you know, took a screenshot, printed that as well. Who's the author? When was it published? Where was it published? What is that newspaper? But they like, wanted what? More they organization. Wanted it, they wanted it bigger. They want it bigger because because and that's also America's fun. bigger. Yeah, they, I think, <laughs> and it's it's. I mean, for me, it was a, a relief when I read it. I was like, okay, that's just like a, an older person who cannot read that. Yeah. Mm. So they mm. just need more. So they said, I can't read it. The evidence doesn't exist. Yeah. So I had to reprint everything and like just now Jesus. my five hundred or six hundred pages became eight hundred pages just because it everything is bigger. <laughs> yeah. But they have to print everything out. Yeah. So they they sit in front of like 800 pages of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just pictures and but yeah, and words then I got you. and then I got approved in March. But 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 what was I going to say? There was another thing that the uh, how how crushing was it for you to build all of that for your portfolio and then being on a plane and then the, this guy saying it's not enough. I was angry. So emotional state was I was sad. Like extreme, I was very emotional because I with was Amanda scared. on the plane. No, the I was time? by myself. No, by yourself. I was scared. Um, I was disappointed. I was your heart mad, broken. mad, really mad. Yeah. Um, and then I had to like calm myself down and be like, okay, lose that. Don't I don't know. Yeah, yeah use just, this energy. Use that energy and yeah. work work for it. Yeah. Don't be an asshole. Just just don't be like. Why did you just accept it? That's yeah. what it is, and just work on it. And yeah. then I. I 
the entire trip, like I wanted to sleep on the plane, yeah. but I was just writing. I was like this, this, yeah. this, this. I'm going to change this, this. When also, I, mind I, you, mind you, that lawyer's not cheap, right? No. Yeah, your lawyer. Yeah, you now you got to also pay a lawyer to do this. Lawyers are like the entire thing. I think the first one, the student visa, that was cheap. That was like cheap. Don't get me wrong. Relatively. Five hundred dollars yeah. is yeah. a lot of money still, but in comparison to the other ones, that was cheap. Yeah. yeah. Five hundred dollars for the F one. OPT was like five six hundred. Then my O one was I think six thousand dollars. Um, yeah. and then I had an extension because they wanted more evidence. So I had to pay another $2,000. Then green card is usually, I think like $15,000. And then when you pay the extra fees to get expedited, like response is another 1500. So all in all, I think I spent like 35, $40,000 on, yeah, just, you know, lawyer, lawyers and stuff to wow. stay here. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's stressful, bro. Yeah. And so anyways, fast forward to. You get it March. all done. You make everything bigger. Yep. You find the right ingredients that I, you need to put exactly. in the portfolio. I sent them everything. And then March then, of 2020, yep. during the pandemic, yep. you're in the car the 28th, buying yep. toilet paper that no one has. <laughs> exactly. The whole world is out of toilet paper. It's yep. March. Yeah. It was and, before but, it was before the pandemic hit. Oh, like, it was before like, the yeah, pandemic. Because yeah. like I remember it back then, like nobody like it was in in Asia, but it wasn't here yet. Like everybody here was like, "Oh, Asia, look crazy." Yeah. Um. So nobody took it seriously. But I remember I was so focused on my green card because it was the twenty eighth, and I had it big on my whiteboard or vision board, and I I, I knew it, and I looked on it, and I was like, twenty eighth, that's today. And I checked my emails, nothing. I checked the mail, nothing. I was oh, like, man. fuck. Yeah. I was like, that's that's not a good sign. No, my lawyer right. didn't email me. Nothing happened. So. I was pissed the entire day. Amanda was like, you're a little weird today. And I was like, you know, I just, I didn't want to say anything because yeah. I was mm -hmm. scared. I was like, I have to leave you. Like I, oh. you know, I, it's, it's, I don't know how to break that. Like I, I was, I was mad scared. I was like everything. And then, um, if we, you would have, if they would have sent you out of this country I, and I'm telling you as a friend, you would have married. Me. I would have married Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> You remember that? Remember that other dude that was in the, in the in the gym, and you looked at him, and he looked at you weird. That's me. That was me looking at you like, bruh, you better get this damn green card. That's hilarious. No, but uh, but yeah, what an emotional day for you to that 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 was the day that you were supposed to find out if you can stay. Yeah, and then we and, go to and if you don't stay, you have to tell her that I might be going back to Germany. Austria. Austria. Damn Still, it. I'm so Austria. sorry. <laughs> I might be going back to Austria. Austria. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> yeah. So for me, it was like a roller coaster. Roller yeah. coaster. Uh -huh. Yeah. Roller coaster, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so we. That, it's also like, that's just funny because Amanda was with me when I got um, approved for my 01. Yeah. Um, at that time, it's, it's funny too. I was naked. And yeah, like we don't lawyer. need that. We yeah, don't need that yeah, detail. Yeah, I'll just yeah, give yeah, you that yeah, detail. Completely yeah. understood. <laughs> <laughs> and Amanda filmed the entire thing while I was on the phone with my lawyer. For Anyways, the O one. For the O one. And, and then, then the second get... time, now the green card. We're in the car. She's driving, blasting whatever. What was it? Like heavy metal, like music. Yeah. She was like, "That sounds like German." I was like, "No, it doesn't." That. But I was pissed already because I was just like in my head somewhere else, right? Yeah. yeah. And then I look and I. I missed, I missed my lawyer's email. Oh. He sent me an email at 4.30 a.m. I was oh. like, I could have had this oh. the entire day. I click on it and he says, the only thing he says is, it's not final, but see, dot, dot, dot. What? I was like, what the? F I was like, that's not good. Yeah. You, should, you should say congratulations, your honor, right. or whatever, right? And I'm, I look, I scroll down and then I see my number, my address, my name, my birth date. And I was like, blah, 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 approved. Okay, that's one, blah, 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 approved, nice. approved, approved, nice. EB1 approved. And I was like, okay, I need more because right now I'm not sure. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> okay, got approved, got approved. I was like, <gasps> and then I start crying. I look wow. over, so Amanda's right here and I look over and I start crying. And nice. she's like, what's going on? And I was like, see now just like, I, I almost start crying just, it brings me yeah. back. I was like, mm. I just got it. And she's wow. like, no, I didn't even say it. She's like, did you get it? And I was like, oh, and it just hit me so hard. Now it's still, it's so yeah. fresh because I worked so hard on it <laughs> for six fucking years. Wow. It was so hard. And it's, it's, it's such an, um, an emotional story because it still brings me back to that moment sitting yeah. in that car and that weight that yeah. left me. And I was like, 
Good to I too. did it. I did it. Yeah, bro. So many people told me, you're not going to make it. You, you don't even speak the language. You have a thick accent. You're not this. You're not that. You whatever. Yeah. And I, I kept fighting for myself. There were so, I mean, this is another, another like podcast when we talk about like how many no's I got. Mm. Oh yeah, man. Mm. Six years. Oh, I can only imagine how hard that was. For that you. was insane. And then I did it and then I just, I, I just cried for like Congrats. an hour. That's dope. That's yeah. beautiful, Great man. Great story. Thank I want to. I'd love to get that video. I got to see it, but I love for like people to see it because yeah. that is amazing, man. When people tell you no, especially it's one thing to be told no when you live in America, but imagine when you're like from another country and you're mm. just trying to fight to stay here. Yeah, and they keep saying no, and then it finally happens, man. And and the hard work that you put in and and the proof that you put in yeah it, it, it's it's an amazing story man and and it's Thank very you. inspirational you inspire me indirectly you inspire me you're a beautiful man you're a great friend <laughs> i've just met you like yeah, this that's year true. That's true. and it's like i've known you for years i have the same feeling i was like i love i love joe that's another thing like in austria we, remember that call yeah and you said i love you buddy and i was like all right <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. And I was like, okay, cool. So I'll see you tomorrow. All right, love you, buddy. And I'm like, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. And you're like, no, listen, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> in, yeah. in America, if somebody says, I love you, you say, I love you too. <laughs> That's so true. You got to put that in your portfolio next time, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, I really do love you, man. And, I love I, and you I, too, I'm buddy. pretty sure Andre loves you. I do love you. Yeah, your, your, your <laughs> say story it, is say very it back, motherfucker. Yeah. I love you too. <laughs> Bro, no, you are an inspiration. And, yo, congratulations with Thank you all so your much. success. Thank you. you and Amanda are a beautiful couple. Uh, you you were supposed to be together. She's amazing. Yeah. yeah, she is. She really is, man. And uh, and I, you know, you know when you could just see genuine people through social media. Yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes they're actors, but mm -hmm. like I really feel that with both of you, it's Thank genuine. You. It and means it, a lot. And when I met you in person, I was like, yes, they they really are those people. Yeah. So congratulations, man. And uh, thank you. And I'm just going to say this right now. And I, <laughs> are you down with OPT? Oh, you know me. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. I love you. That's the point. Love you, buddy. And we're out. I love you, Dre. Love you, man. Love you, honest. <laughs> love you guys. Good. Love you guys. I love you guys. I love is, you. Is, 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 is that it? That I love good. you guys. <laughs>